this does not even feel real. It doesn't even feel real. Like, I don't think you guys understand. Like, um, I come from very humble beginnings, is all I will say. And any time that I am in a beautiful place, it gets me very emotional and I'm not going to make this about being sad or because it's not, it's not, it's, it's like happy tears, you know, um, God is just so good. He always provides and I am just so blessed for all of the things that he has put into my life in just this short amount of time, y'all, like. By now, you guys should have already seen my um, chit chat, get ready with me, kind of just explaining things that have occurred over the last, like, I don't know, four or five weeks. Not four or five months, weeks. But, like, oh my God. That's all I can say. Like, my God is so good. I don't even need to get into that. Because if you know, then you know. Beyond coming from home and beginnings, um, the fact that I did this alone is just so overwhelmingly amazing to me. I, I don't know. I feel like I have gone my entire life um, always having friends, always doing things with friends or a significant other. Um, don't get me wrong. I was very independent for a very long time when I was like single for a while. Um, and even when I was young, like, I didn't mind doing things alone, but I preferred to do things with other people. This is the first time in my life that I have taken myself on a solo vacation. Like, truly a vacation. Like, I've traveled alone for, like, a day trip, um, an appointment, work, whatever. But, like, I'm going to be here for five days and four nights. And I am just, like... Girl, we're going to get real close. we we going to... Get real close, me and me. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. Like, I'm just truly so freaking happy to be here. Um, I know y'all are probably like, girl, skimming forward to see the hotel. Um, and I'm going to get to that. But all I want to say, I know I always got to leave y'all with some type of message. If you are struggling, if you're going through a hard period, um, if you are lost just know that better is coming for you always i promise you like i'm not just saying that because like oh i'm in this nice fancy resort like no like better is coming um two years ago i couldn't have even imagined staying five nights and five days and four nights in a regular hotel and here i am in an all-inclusive, adults-only resort in Puerto Vallarta, um, Mexico, by myself. God is so good. But anyway, um, I just, I'm, I'm happy to be here. So without further ado, let's get into the room tour, okay? So here is the front door. The ceilings are pretty high. Um, here's the front door. You walk in and immediately to your right is the bathroom. Hey. So we got the toilet, towels, and then the vanity station. They give you um, a blow dryer and then like another empty basket, which I'm going to put like my makeup and stuff in there. I already put like a, a foldable mirror up in there, but um, they do have, I don't know how you pronounce it, I believe it's called Locatine, but um, they have their products in here. Very nice, very nice. And the star of the show is the Rainfall Shower Head. Very spacious in here. Um, yeah. Behind the door, they have, you know, one of those like drying racks in here. Um, so yeah, super cute. Immediately off to the left is a full body mirror. Ow. 
Um, I'm going to be getting my daily outfits, um, pictures in this mirror. And then this opens up to the rest of the room. So to the right, we have the little like quick bar snack area. So we have some wine. Everything is complimentary. Um, we have some wine, a couple apples, um, an espresso machine with some water. And then we have some little snacks. Um, I was about to get into these, but I'm just like, girl, like just go eat. Just go eat real food. Save these for like late night snacking. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it also comes with a full fridge of some water, Modelo's, of course, we're in Mexico, and some Pepsi. I will probably only drink the water. <laughs> Boring, I know. Next, we have this like little seating area, lamp, and the beds, king size bed. Um, what I really love about this place is that they give you your own like beach bag. Like, how cute. Like, I want to take this home. Like, it's giving very much Jacquemus vibes. Um, that is my hat. I, that would be really dope if they gave you the hat, but that's my hat I brought. Um, and then to the left, we have, like, I think, like, these rooms connect, but clearly that's locked. Um, and then we have just, like, a little workstation on my work laptop right there. And um, some drawers. If you're somebody like me that likes to unpack. And then we have a TV and a wardrobe. Um, very simple. You know, we don't need to go in there. And then the start of the freaking show is this balcony and this view. I mean, honey. Honey. No. Nah. No. Nah. Like, y'all not even getting into it. I feel like it's fogging up. It is fogging up. Hold on. What? Can't you hear the ocean, the waves? Like everything is just on point. Mind you, this is just one little sector of the resort. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, I want to go get in that water right now. It's so hot here, y'all. I think it's like almost 100 degrees. I cannot make that up. But um, just know that me, the pool, and that beach are about to get real freaking close this trip. <laughs> but the part that I'm just like in awe at is like look at the hills and just like wow Mexico you have outdone yourself Puerto Vallarta I am in love in love for free like everything is for free eh? I'm so happy the only thing that is not for free is the spa like you pay you know, for services, which I feel like makes sense. But other than that, everything's free. Like every single, all food, drinks, um, like service at the bar. Like the bars open up at eight a.m. It's free. And I'm just by myself, and I'm just enjoying my own company. Like I love it. I love it. <laughs> that I know and you know honestly honestly this was such a remember when I told you it was just a last minute when I was like why don't I just do that before I start this new job why don't I just reset and just take myself somewhere and when I tell you I cannot believe how cheap all this came out to be yeah. Huh. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice out here. Insane. It's like not even real. I'm just. I'm speechless. It's so pretty. So 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 pretty. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Thanks, mom. I'm irritated. I definitely should have bought like a 128 gig for this trip alone. Bro, look at the goofy stuff I just did. It's not even open still. Um, but yeah. What happened to, oh, I'm just going to go eat, girl. I'm hungry now. And I, I don't feel like I'm going to rest unless I unpack my room.
You look crunchy as hell. They're good, but they're crunchy as hell. I have a lot of content that I want to shoot, but, ooh, y'all, I smell. I'm not even gonna hold you. I don't smell very often, like pretty much never, but there are certain days when it's like, it's been a long day and today is one of them days and it's 98 degrees outside, like. Oh. Tell me, does this make sense? Do I shower, go eat, and go tour outside, go to the pool or the beach, whatever? Or do I just go eat and go to the pool? Like, I feel like I should do the latter because I already smell and I should just like shower tonight and go to dinner and get cute. But I don't know. I just feel so dirty. Oh, wait, let's unpack. You already know. I brought the double decker. I don't know if y'all saw that, but I brought her. Cause I was like, absolutely not. Am I gonna come all the way over here and like not get any content? Like, are you done? <laughs> are you stupid? Especially, especially since I'm here by myself. It's like, it only makes sense. What else am I gonna be doing? Well, I mean, the chilling. Drinking, <laughs> laying down, but still. So I have to do a monkey in here. The hell, I know y'all read that. I want to like go over like travel necessities because I travel a lot and like stuff that like really helps me stay organized. This is like one of my favorites from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I have these like storage cubes. They're really for like clothes, but I'd be putting like my jewelry, my cologne, or my cologne perfume, all my hair tools. I got these from Boo Ray. I actually supposed to work with them and then things happened and um, I ended up not working with them and it wasn't, it, it, there was no bad blood. I just got really busy and like, like actual life happened and I took a huge step away from social media as y'all already know so we never picked that partnership back up i feel like they have reached out but i was just not in a good place mentally and that comes first so i'm trying to put you in the worst mood uh, p1 cleaner than your church shoes uh, belly point two just to hurt you uh, all red lamps to tease you uh, none of these toys on lease to uh, made your whole year pretty much everything <laughs> um i have like my underwear in here my bathing suits and cover-ups and what else gym clothes so yeah um oh by the way y'all know when i was like i hear like squeaking or something i do you remember when i was like i know y'all heard that chow ain't no squeaking it's these birds hold on let me show you How pretty is this? Oh, hell no, there's a hornet right there. Oh, how pretty. Gorgeous, stunning. Love. Okay, that's enough. So I just threw something on super fast, like nothing that even really matches, but um, I just wanted to go get like a case idea by the pool, because I want to go to dinner later. I want to like come shower, freshen up, and then like actually go to dinner. So let's see about that. But you know what? It is just the first day. If anything, I could always just chill tonight. I don't know. But I'm like trying to make the most out of this trip. So 
yeah my two piece is from target believe it or not super cute um this cover-up actually comes as a set with pants matching pants and it's from pretty little thing the hat is jack and moose i take it on all my vacations it's like the perfect it covers your eyes like i love it shoes are pretty little thing and the bag is from the resort okay let's go so i just got to the pool <laughs> This whole vlogging thing while people watch me is kind of scary, but we move. I'm at the pool by myself. I see some girls over there, like a group of like three black girls. And like, I want to go talk to them. But then I'm like, but do I? <laughs> Just kidding, I do. But I'm going to let it marinate for a little bit, you know. It's my, it's my third day out here, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Freaking beautiful. Um, update, I didn't end up getting food because I just decided at this point it's already 7.15. I might as well just chill out here for like an hour, go shower, and then go to dinner. I need to make a reservation actually, so let me do that now. Oh. I went and walked by the beach. The beach was stunning. Stunning. So I just remembered that the dude had told me if I want to make a reservation, I have to go to the front. So I'm going to stay here for like an hour, make my reservation, and then go to dinner at like 9.30. Yeah. Sure of you? No, no, it's okay. okay. I just take videos. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Hi. Hi, how are you guys? Good. Did you guys just get here today? Saturday. You guys about to leave? Saturday. Oh. When did you get here? Just today. Just today. Yeah. You just yeah. Here. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so funny. You know how I was just like, I want to talk to those girls. They came up and talked to me. I just met three new friends and I'm gagged because these ladies, when I tell you they looked maybe five years older than me, I'm 28. Chai, they were all, they all just turned 50. When I tell you black does not fucking crack, like it does not. The pool is amazing. It's not cold at all, which is just this. And yeah. So I'm just gonna chill, do my thing, and I wanna go to this Mediterranean place. But if not, I'm just gonna meet up with them later. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys. Maybe after I either get a drink or when I get back to the room. every single day like or like Mexican Italian whatever but anyway it's super cute and the view is like guys I ran into I told you those those three girls earlier and they were talking about how um, this is a hidden gem so just know that I'm putting the girls on very cost-effective 
um, very safe, very just tranquil. The aesthetics are here, like everything. You guys are gonna love it here, so you're welcome. Because <laughs> I should gatekeep this place, but I'm not going to. I am in the mood for a lot of food, okay? I have not eaten all day, so mind your business. Um, I think I'm gonna get, see that's the thing about all inclusive, you can pig out. Ooh, this looks so good. I'm gonna ask them what's their favorite and then we're gonna go from there. But let me get, let's get into this situation. Like, so pretty. Like the camera's really picking it up really nicely too. Ooh. Thank you. Do you have straws or no? No straws? Okay. Mm. I got a mojito. Cheers. Wow. That was good. Guys, I could do this all day for the rest of my life. Like, wake up, go to the beach, get in the pool, eat, sleep, repeat. Peace. I'm pissed because my battery is on charge, like it's fully charged. Hey. <laughs> my battery is fully charged, but my memory only has 25 minutes, which it should last me the rest of the night because I'm not going out tonight. I change of plans. I am exhausted. I've been up since 2 a.m. this morning. So, yeah. I'm going to eat and go wash this hair of mine and then um, knock out. Hey. <laughs> what did you ladies get to eat? It was good? Yeah, I, well, I changed the enchiladas to uh, veggie. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you haven't gotten it yet? Yeah, we just ordered it. Yeah. What did you get? I don't remember. But, um, I got an appetizer. It was like the third one. Yeah. And then I got the, um, it was like something like pork over risotto or something like that. That's what he was saying, so I got that. Yeah, I think we're going to So I'm excited. <laughs> Texas. Okay. Yeah. Houston. Yeah. Okay. She's from Texas. She's going to Oh, okay. Cali girls. <laughs> I just moved to Houston like two weeks ago from Ohio. Oh my God. So everything is just different. Yeah. And, and then I'm here by myself. I just wanted a solo trip, but I was just like, yeah. You're like the third girl I met a group of girls earlier and they were saying the same thing that they met like two girls here that were both here by themselves. I was like, oh, well, that makes me feel safe. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it here. I also got a really good deal for, like, I don't know about you guys, but like, this place is seriously cheap compared to other resorts that I've been to. So, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I just booked it like four days ago. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Des. 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 Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice What's your name? Juliana. Juliana. Cheers. I have a mojito. What are you ladies drinking? Wine? We can drink chili and it's really good. Oh. The thing about all inclusive, you will get fucked up. They play me with the most straw though. I get it. We're trying to save the planet. But these mint leaves are like literally, I'm swallowing them whole. At this point, I'm about to be so lit before I even get my food because all I've had today is liquor and a muffin. My waiter said that he likes my lips. Let me find out y'all like some black girls down here. Let me find out. <laughs> I don't even remember what it's called, but it's 
okay. I'm gonna turn this brightness. Mahito. Thank you. I do like I vlog for YouTube. YouTube? YouTube? You know YouTube? Yeah. Like I vlog, like, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> Each one of these has a different type of meat on it. The first one was shrimp. The second one I think was um who are those little um wow, why am I blanking out? I'm about to say sea urchin. What are they called? Not mussels. Um you know what I'm talking about? They usually are like circles, they're white. Anyway, and this is I think chicken. And it's fried. Mm. Here's the dinner. It looks good. It smells good. I'm going to take a quick uh, video on my phone. I'm gonna show you right now like this <laughs> it's funny because people are watching me but this is the dessert oh churros and I have like strawberry sauce these two beautiful ladies are watching me record right now but some caramel and then I think this is like chocolate the guy over at the pool told me that I should try this so but yeah I just do that and I talk to them like I'm talking to y'all literally Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Girl, yes. So, my fitness, I have like 80,000 or something like that. <laughs> I wish you guys could see their faces. So, I initially had the idea that I was going to wash my hair tonight. I was going to actually give myself a blowout. And girl, who am I fooling? I've been up since 2 in the freaking morning today. Um, it is now a little after 10, I believe. Um, so what I'm going to do is brush this hair out like I am doing right now. I'm going to get in the shower and like, I guess kind of let it get wet and then sleep with a towel on my head. And in the morning, oof, not it being nappy right here. And in the morning, I'm going to give myself a blowout. And style my hair and put it in rollers, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Because the reason why is because I wanted to actually really take shooting content seriously moving forward and especially on scripts, you know, like you don't really get this opportunity to 
shoot in a beautiful location like this every single day. Oh Lord. Um, that's why I should so mad because I'm brushing out the tape in. Am I okay? No, I'm not. So here's this. It's like I want to do my hair though, so I know. It's like delaying gratification, really. If I do my hair now, I can actually be lazy in the morning and then get to content on my own terms. If I don't do my hair now, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get up and I can still get up on my own terms, but it's gonna, the first bit of it is gonna have to be around my hair, which that's not really the vibes. But you know what I'm thinking? I'm like, maybe I do a wet look, like a... Ooh, I have an idea. I think I'm going to loosely twist my hair tonight while it's wet and see what it gives tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, well I'm gonna shower and do my hair and knock out. So I think I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. trying to be cute and aesthetic and sit outside while I had my morning leche, um, my morning cafecito, but there are like, like hornets, like, and not like hornets like that you see in the U.S. <laughs> and I just felt like the sugar was going to attract them, so I was a little nervous. I'm just having my coffee. I only have like 30 minutes left of breakfast, so... Um, I'm gonna go run and get that in the next like five ten minutes. Um, so I'm starving. I slept in so late today, so late, and then I spent an hour on the phone with my friend. And yeah, but it's okay. This is what vacation is about. It's not about stress. It's just about chilling and doing what you want to do. P.S. I did like rope curls for the first time. I've never done them before. For one, I'd even do them right. Um, so how last night went? Got in the shower. It was almost euphoric. I was in there falling asleep and then when I finally like woke myself up and got out um, my hair was like damp and I should have done the rope curls then but what did I do? I walked my naked little butt and laid in the bed and fell asleep until 4.30 this morning. Woke up, brushed my hair, put the rope curl in and then went back to sleep and then woke up at like 10. So. Here we are, it's a little after 11. So I think I'm gonna go eat, come back, shave, and then I'm gonna just like go lay by the pool, um, have them bring me out a quesadilla or something, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna plan content for Saturday and Sunday. And um, honestly, that's all I really wanna do today. I think I might participate in one of the activities here um, but I'm gonna go to dinner tonight and like drinks and go out um, with some of those girls that I met yesterday. Yesterday was a blast, by the way. Like, 10 out of 10 recommend traveling alone because you will meet so many people. Like, so many people. And one thing about it, they like them some black girls out here, okay? <laughs> it was funny, my waiter, he was so sweet. He was like inviting me to come out. Um, to one of the like nightclub restaurants bars tonight because um, he's gonna be working there tonight and he was like I'll take really good care of you but he had first thing he said to me he said oh muy bonita I was like me? 
know. I was like, gracias, gracias, you know. And he was like telling me how he likes my lips because they're very full. I was dying. I just think that that's so funny. But guys, this resort is amazing. It's amazing. One of the black ladies that I met, she was like telling me how she has been here, I think maybe three times and it's a hidden gem and she loves it because the prices are amazing. The service is amazing and nobody knows about it. So it's like chill. And but like the, the little amount, of, I don't want to say little, but the people that are here, they like they be turning up like I love it. And honestly, a part of me wants to leave um, to do like one of like the city tours. But I'm not going to lie, I would feel a little bit more comfortable with this. this is my first solo trip, so don't, don't get at your girl. But I would feel more comfortable if I was at least with one other person um, to do a city tour. So really, I just want to stay on the resort. I just want to stay on the resort, and that's it. But I might do um, a massage by one of the locals. It's like literally right on the beach two of the lovely ladies that i met last night they were so cute oh my god they're so cute they were like asking me about social media and all this stuff um if they're seeing this hi i love y'all you're amazing but they uh were telling me that you could like get these like 30 dollar massage massages for like an hour so i'm gonna get it i think i'm gonna get a massage later i don't know but anyway enough ranting Cafecito, so good. I love an espresso. Actually, fun fact, at my old place in Cleveland, one of my neighbors was like, I have this Nespresso machine that works amazing. We just got another one that's the exact same thing. Do you want it? For free. For free. <laughs> I said, absolutely. It was like one of the big ones, like the $350, $400 ones. So I snagged it. So I can't wait to use it when I get home. But um, Nespresso is so good. I must go eat, get dressed. I was like, get dressed, go eat, come back, shave, and we're going to go to the pool and we're going to plan our content. We're going to vibe, we're going to go to the pool, and we're just going to have a very chill Friday, okay? I want to work today, but I think my work will be filming a get ready with me tonight. And then I'll do a couple reels Saturday, Sunday. And I'm working regardless because I'm vlogging this entire trip, so I don't know why I have to like. It's sad because when you are an entrepreneur and you work for yourself, you will almost kind of bargain with yourself experiences for work. And it's like, baby, you can do both. So let's see how these rope curls came out. Rope curls, girl shout. I did not even, y'all don't laugh. Don't laugh. Cause I really didn't even do my hair how I was supposed to. And I've also never done rope curls. So basically it's like you take um, like the rope from a robe and you just wrap your hair around it and it's supposed to come out super cute i know mine's gonna come out funky because i did not do it how i was supposed to because i fell asleep and all that like i already explained to y'all and i'm pretty sure my hair is still wet so there's that but it's okay i just wanted to see what it was gonna give oh the curls are like pretty though if this actually dried all the way i know it would be fire <gasps> Oh, it would be fire. I'm doing this tonight. Like, what? Oh, no, this came out fire. My hair is not even fully dry, and it's still super cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all. Y'all got the right one, okay? Let me find out. And it's heatless, which I love. So these tapes are just wavy and then y'all know I have a Brazilian blowout. So my hair, my natural hair is like straight wavy. Oh my gosh. Let me find out that I just did something here. I know the back probably looks wild and that's okay. No, this is super cute like the actual curl or wave itself <gasps> it's giving i just wanted my hair messily but y'all get the gist nah um my roots are also growing out i can't wait to go to sky and her give me a brazilian touch-up but this is adorable uh freaking adorable i'm gonna just do a little quick brow because 
At first I was going to put a scarf on my head or a hat, but like I actually, oh, this part, but ain't nobody checking for me. Girl, it's vacation. Shut up. Okay guys, quickly, little chill breakfast OOTD. I think it's just super cute. I put a scarf on my head. Got my little, um, I think the scarf is from Shein. Sunnies are from Amazon. The fit is from Abercrombie. Love these. I want to get them in more colors. They're so cute, so comfortable. And I love that they have built-in shorts, so there's no chafing. This bag is from Guess. And these shoes are from Pretty Little Thing. And yeah, let's go eat breakfast. So in true Adesso fashion, um... I miss breakfast, <laughs> but it's okay. I didn't miss it. They just, they no longer do it at the restaurant. Um, it is now at the pool. So I am actually kind of happy about that because my initial plan, as y'all know, was to come home, shave, put a bikini on and go to the pool. So if y'all see this again tomorrow, mind your business. Okay. I'm going to wear this to, to, to breakfast tomorrow. I'm irritated because I have to get in the shower, obviously, to shave so i think what i'm gonna do is save my legs for later so i don't have to like get in the, in the shower um and just like do like my armpits and my homegirl um it's nothing crazy just a little just a little shape up <laughs> i'm gonna go to the pool and we're gonna bring our journal we're just gonna have a uh, amazing day i'm excited so let's let's get a crack at. okay i just got ready guys i love these rope curls like super cute but um this is i changed i put the hat back on the jack and moose bucket hat because the print on print was just not eating the way that it needed to so yeah um i just have a regular black bikini on this little cheetah cover-up super cute some black flip-flops and yeah i'm gonna head out um, my transportation actually just called me because I was completely forgot, thank God he gave me a courtesy call, um, that I'm supposed to meet him at 2. So I'm going to go, it's like 12, uh, 15 right now, I'm going to go to the pool, eat, and then I'm going to meet him up at 2 and then go back to the pool and the beach. Guys, cheers. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh yeah. One thing about all inclusive, I'm gonna get the, the like I said before. This is the it's called the jungle. It says tequila, orange liquor, natural syrup, pineapple juice, and guava. Phenomenal. This is still so unreal. Like I can't believe this. So I ordered to eat. I got a ciabatta de pollo or grilled chicken ciabatta um it says it has chicken breast cheese bacon lettuce and tomato that sounds so good and then i also ordered um el guacamole or guacamole with uh it's tortilla chips fresh cheese and pico de gallo sauce so that sounds fire i'm trying to be discreet with vlogging but at this point, who cares, right? Cheers. No, oh, I'm way too excited. Oh. Presentation, 10 out of 10. Yep. 10 out of freaking 10. We did that. We did that. Mmm. Fries are amazing. This sandwich looks good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
guy playing the saxophone here, and it's such a vibe. Basically, it's a um, tool that does hair strokes without cutting your skin. Um, it like punctures the skin. It's almost kind of like tattooing without dragging through the skin. It's a lot safer if you're a black woman. So you don't have to worry about keloiding or scarring or anything like that. T. I, the brow pen I was just using that I just stopped using to open this new one, I've had for no joke the last, mm, I want to say like five, six months. And I fill in my brows probably four to five times a week. There'll be some days that I don't wear any makeup or don't do any brows, but I fill in my brows pretty much all the time. So for it to have lasted me, like I don't remember when I got it, but I know it was either end of last year, which is nuts if it was, or beginning of this year. Okay, video, so T, I was actually supposed to film a Chit Check It Ready movie right now, but I decided to lay down and like, just like, lay in my bed for a little bit. I would have been running behind if I decided to film that right now because my reservation is about 30 minutes and I really just want to go eat some good food and then I think we might go to like the sky bar after and meet up with some people but I'm not pressuring myself to do anything truly. This vacation was about rest, relaxation, and recentering myself. Three R's, okay? <laughs> and um, that's what I'm gonna do. My vibe is just living life. What Courtney say? <laughs> now I'm just gonna do the lightest, and I mean lightest application of face makeup. Y'all know what I've been loving lately? I really should moisturize, but like, Ooh, I don't feel like it right now. Don't judge me. But y'all know what I've been loving 
it's this little milk makeup um, primer. This Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer, A1. A1. If you like the Hydra Grip, but you're like an oily girl, this is your bread and butter. Like, trust me on it. It's so good. And like, honestly, I feel like it has the same formula as like the hydrating, um, from the hydrating aspect that the Hydra Grip has. But this, it just dries down matte. Because for me, the Hydra Grip is a great product to really let your makeup stick to. Yeah, but if you're oily, sis, you are going to look like a slicked down oily mess in a few hours. At least that's my, that was my take. I know somebody's gonna be somewhere talking about, I love the Hydra Grip, sis, and that's great. But it didn't work for me. So this is for the girls that I don't work for, <laughs> okay? Um, I love it. I don't even know why I applied this much because I'm not even applying that much makeup today. Um, I really should have saved that much for tomorrow, but it's okay. And this is just like their little travel size and travel. This has already lasted me like two months, maybe three. I will say I'm not a makeup everyday girl. Um, and this is not a flex. <laughs> I wish I was. I just really don't um, have it in me energy wise. But a lot of the time, it's really because I'd be at home or like, you know, like I I've been working from home for, a, you know, the last two months. Um, and then b before that, where did I work? In the hospital where I had to have a mask over my face all, all the time. Um, I worked four tens. So four days out of the week, I had a mask on my face for 10 hours a day. So I was wearing no makeup on those four days. And then the remaining three days, I typically did have makeup on because I was going out kicking it, whatever, but yeah. This is just some translucent powder, just to set that primer down. One of the best hacks if you are an oily girl or if you are planning to wear your makeup all day. I have about 10 minutes left, which is perfect because all I'm doing is concealer tonight. Um, the fit I'm wearing, I will shoot in tomorrow or Sunday during the daytime. That's why I'm not too worried about getting um, photos right now and photo red worthy makeup. I mean, technically, the only difference for me as of lately lately being the last like eight months has been um all i do different than this is um, a layer of tinted moisturizer all over my skin which will give me like a clean even base because god bless and i don't want to jinx myself knock on wood <laughs> but my skin has not been um too horrible so i am able to wear tinted moisturizer to act as like a foundation very blessed and that's what i've been doing for literally almost the last year maybe even a year mm. scary hours i'm wearing a super cute outfit that i can't wait to shoot in um and the heels are painful Oh, there was some of my favorite heels too, which is so sad, but they're painful. Basically, um, it was an impulse buy, but like I really did, I really do love them and did love them when I bought it. So I won't say like a bad impulse buy, but it was an impulse buy. And I was reading that like you should size down a half size uh, because if you don't, like your feet will basically slide out of the shoe. So I did, and girl, I don't know if as you size down that the actual shoe gets tighter or what it is and not in a common sense way because y'all probably like that's exactly what it is no i mean tighter as in the actual framework of the shoe not the size front to back but the framework of it um it's just painful it's very tight and it hurts 
Um, but they are a badass shoe. They're some Versace heels and um, they are just it. Like, if a shoe was that girl, these are that girl. I'll show you guys here when I get dressed. Ooh, that girl is painful. I don't know if it's just my choice in size or if those shoes are just painful in general. It's basically, there's a zipper part, which I'll show you all. And like that like collapses down on my foot and it hurts so bad. But I don't, I don't even know why I use the word collapse. It just is tight there. And mind you, I have narrow, skinny, chicken, claw feet. <laughs> Literally, the skinniest feet alive, skinniest feet and ankles. Like, shit don't even fit my feet normally, so I'm perplexed, but whatever. Okay, y'all, that's literally it. I'm about to set this down with powder, put some blush on, and that's it. Like, when I tell y'all my makeup these days, be taking me all of, like, 15 minutes. Not even. Guys, I'm super excited to take these rope curls out, but why do I feel like my hair is still damp? I'm about to blow dry it a little bit. Okay. Ooh, these rope curls. I'm feeling like it's not going to come out the best, and it didn't. Still damp. Yeah. I mean, legitimately, I had these in for like an hour and a half. Shame on me. I should have done this earlier, but it's okay. Um, the good thing is, this was a trial. This was a trial. So we're good. Don't worry, sis. You'll get it together tomorrow. Oh, this side came out a little better, I think. I don't know. It's still getting damp. Ooh, this side is pretty. I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, this side came out. This side came out better. Okay, I just got ready. This is my outfit. I'm running late, so I have to go. I'll see you guys at the restaurant. I am. Um, can I please do... How is this? Is it good? The first time? The, the, sh the shrimp? The yeah, shrimp are so good. It's good? Okay, I'm going to do that. And then for the entree, can I get the um, grilled mahi mahi? Oh, I'm sorry, man. You don't have any more. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eh? Okay, what's the next best thing? Uh, you like the beef? Yeah. Beef what's, is good too. Where's the beef? Um, Which one would you pick? This one or that one? Um, beef. The beef. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Sure. That's fine. How, how did you cook the beef? Uh, medium well. Medium well. You want to try any dessert? Oh uh, yeah, I will do. Ooh, I'll do the apple pie with the peach. Apple pie. Yeah. Bueno. My name is Luciano. Okay. I am the waitress. This is yeah. Enjoy dinner. Let me bring a little bread and butter. Eh? Sure. So I made it to the restaurant. <laughs> My booth is super cute. Just me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I'm here by myself. People are looking at me because I'm here by myself. Like, when I walked in, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I entiendo un poquito español, you know, a little bit. Um, but, like, I'm pretty sure Homegirl was making fun of me <laughs> when they had, when I walked in and she saw, like, it was just for one. But that's fine. It's okay. I got an omelette sour. Uh, fun fact about me, this is like my drink of choice anywhere I go, a lot of places, I'm not going to say a lot, but I would say 40, 30 to 40% of the places will never have amaretto and it pisses me off and then I end up having to get a whiskey sour, which is good, but whiskey is a little more it's sharp. Um, amaretto is like already a sweet liqueur and then once you add like the other stuff, it like, it literally tastes like nothing is in it and that's why I love them. Cheers. Only thing about this place, they don't have straws. <laughs> if you know me, I am a straw girl, like right or die straw girl. 
but I get it. We're saving the turtles. But yeah, the vibes are good in here. Um, it's actually like, I'm not gonna say empty. Like there's like maybe five or six tables for people. But honestly, one thing that I noticed, the resort itself is not packed at all. Like this is actually the off season. I think maybe that's why I got such a cheap deal. Um, it's like the off season because it's raining season. So a lot of people usually come and like think about it, like the snowbirds, like being a former Ohioan, we are going to want to leave and go to resorts in the winter time. So their like peak season is like November, December, January, February, like that three to four month radiant uh, time frame. Um, so this is like considered one of the slowest seasons because obviously like people like me, we would have warmth back home in Ohio. Um, or wherever you're from. So, um, I love that. I'm gonna forever come back in the summertime because it's cheaper, there's less people, it's chill. You can pretty much do whatever you want and you won't have to like sit out because it's over capacity or anything. So, and it makes me feel safe with like COVID and everything and monkeypox. So, they just brought me some pan. I don't know butter in Spanish, but it's a bread and butter. And my uh, appetizer looks pretty good. Ooh, this bread looks good. There's like a different type of bread. It's warm. I want to try this bread. What is that? It looks like there's tomato on here. Mmm. It's giving pizza vibes. It's good. You want to try the appetizer now? I feel like I'm supposed to just like pick it up. Try it with my hands. Oh, God. Mm. I don't know what that is. Wow. It's a bad that I want to just like. Like take the whole thing. <laughs> no, they could have made this an entree. This is fire. So dinner is right here. It looks amazing. Phenomenal. It's like a steak with like carrots and like little cucumbers and I don't know what this is but we're gonna give it a try whatever it is it looks mm. steak too much but this is fire Mira. wow mm -hmm. with the little baby cucumbers mm. what is this oh. potatoes And last but not least, I got my dessert. It looks so good, so fresh. Let's try it. Mm. Ooh, is this raspberry? Mm. Oh, love. What's that? Blueberry. 
It's like puree on the plate. Oh, this is good. Hold on. <laughs> I want y'all to see this. I don't know what is on this plate, but this, I'm gonna turn it. This is so good. I, I don't know what that is. Wow. Okay. I'm not even a dessert girl, y'all. This, that's how you know this food is fire. Basically, I had three courses. My appetizer was like this shrimp and like prosciutto on like a little, like, I don't want to say crostini because it was bigger than a crostini, but it was like that type of concept. So good, had like a balsamic vinaigrette on top of it. My entree was um, steak with, um, I believe it's pronounced al gratin potatoes or basically like stout potatoes um, and baby cucumber and carrots so good and then the dessert was like an apple pie type of thing with like blueberry um, like tart and then it had some type of cream with peaches inside of it Ten out of ten, a hundred percent recommend this place. I mean, say in the service, they were so fast. I mean, my reservation was for nine thirty. I got here at nine forty, and I'm done eating at ten thirty. I've been here for fifty minutes and I already had three courses. So, amazing service. How was your dessert? It was, as you can see, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Gracias. I wanted to go to that sky lounge today. I'm tired. I'm really tired and I want to get up early tomorrow. I'm going to go do the activities in the morning and then shoot content from like, so there's a, there's a few different activities. Yoga's at 9.30 and then there's like paddle boarding at 10. I want to do both, <laughs> but I'll probably only do yoga. I don't know. We'll see. And then after that, um, I want to come back and shoot content from, like, depending on whenever I'm done, I want to shoot content from, like, 1 to 4, and then be done for the day, and then, like, just, like, go to the pool, go to the beach, whatever, and then go to dinner. Um tomorrow night at the other restaurant. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try every single restaurant here. <laughs> We're gonna go to dinner at the other restaurant and then tomorrow there's supposed to be like a DJ at that club. So that's kind of why I'm like, mm, maybe I'll just go tomorrow instead, like tomorrow and Sunday. Cause today is just not giving for me. I don't know, I'm tired. I'm not gonna lie, that sun knocked me out. Like the sun really will do something to you, okay? Um, on top of the fact that I didn't take a single nap today. At my big age, I still need naps. <laughs> so I'm back at the room. And I'm like looking at this little like pamphlet, like paper or whatever situation. And it like shows you. It's pretty cool. Like they gave it to you when you first check in. Um, and it shows you like the program of like all of like what's going on throughout the week. And different activities like y'all i'm not gonna lie this is for real a hidden gem like this resort is so freaking i'll be looking at the viewfinder by the way if you see me looking to the, to the side um <laughs> but this resort is so nice they are so thoughtful they have things like literally every day at 9 30 10 11 12 and 3 and then that's like daytime and then it goes into like nighttime stuff so like for example, this past Monday, like before I came, they had a DJ at 4 p.m. at the Infinity Pool. Um, uh, today, they had a saxophonist. He was amazing. I think I like got clips of him. Um, 
they did some like water aerobics at noon today. They had beach volleyball this morning at 11, like amazing. The, the whole thing is just well thought out. Okay. I don't think tonight is anything. Um, there's, it was the last thing was a jacuzzi vista, jacuzzi vista, which is at 9 PM. Armony vibes. It's already late. Uh, it is 10 46. So about 11 o'clock tomorrow, however, is about to go tomorrow is about to be, Ooh, tomorrow and Sunday tomorrow morning is uh, yoga. Like I was saying earlier at 9 30, then there's a kayak tour at 10, which like, I want to do that. Like that sounds like so much fun. Like, yeah, I, I think I'm doing that. And I think that that's an hour and then I'll be done around like 11, 1130, come home, shower, all that, and then do content for like three or four hours. That's kind of like my gig tomorrow. Then at four, there's a Mita Beats pool party, which that sounds fun. And then break. And then at 10 at Insu, which is what I was supposed to go to tonight. Um, there is a sexy, dangerous Michael Jackson show. I don't even know what that means. And then at 1040 till whenever there's DJ Willie's, which is a live DJ, which I think that that's going to be a vibe. I've done a lot today. Okay. I'm be, I'm going to wipe off this little minimal makeup and get into my pajamas and lay in bed and watch some TV. I haven't watched TV in a minute. Or no, actually I'm gonna watch some YouTube. Yeah, I'm gonna put my little rope curls back in and hopefully it's a little bit, but honestly for no product whatsoever and an hour and a half. The TikTok girlies might've did something. I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm going to bed. I'm not going to bed, but I'm gonna like get ready, lay in bed and I will see you guys in the morning.